Pop niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days. Yeah. Been a road, been a road. Man, that's a, so we go, I'm gonna fast forward, man. I come home in the summer of 1992. I'm sorry, summer 2002. Still in the halfway house, but I'm, I get the pass. I'm coming down to Urban, Urban Collision down Dunbar. Man, you on the stands, hard and out all type of stuff. Was that 2002 I first heard you? Man, was that 2003? What I, year was it? Man, I met you before 2000. No, I'm saying, what, what year was it? No, it wasn't. 2000 that was before 98 man that was in the late that was in the late 90s before the goodman started oh, i'm sorry i didn't mean to say i meant to say 1992 yeah, i said 2002 man i'm sorry summer of 1992 yeah, god damn you're right <laughs> you you on the you on the joint hard and screaming man and uh saying all type of stuff man and you said a joke man that still stick out to me today uh rest in peace uh melvin crab house i think he oh. was he he hauled out man God damn, ref. Man, god damn, man. You can't give me these calls or whatever. As you said, God damn, man. You keep selling them small ass crabs. <laughs> yeah, I, that that was one of the that was one of the jokes that got the niggas was running out the stands up Dunbar that day. <laughs> they they uh that Dunbar the Urban Coalition, man, that was that was something special. I used to do that down the farm when we had the Bury Farm League going on. Right. Back in the uh, 77 when we first started up down there. Mm. Then took that up to Herbo, the, the Bury Farm crew, the Jonas. Right. You know, the right. Minos, right. the Cutaways, mm. my man Black. And uh, man, we used to go up there. They, they had a section already carved out for us. Right. For us to say, man, hey, hey, man, sit over here today, man. I said, nah, we, the homies already got us over here. Right. So they used to be in, like, rush, no right. bullshit, right. to go down there in that section with us because they weren't tripping off the game. Because right. we used to be in there joining on the players, right. and then we joined on each other too. Right. So that shit was, that shit was crazy. With all that good bump was going on. Y'all still there, man, man, we, they we found a way to get when four o'clock came, when that four o'clock game came, right, yeah, all, all, all the jokes stopped. Right, yeah, when that yeah, yeah. Baltimore, that Baltimore, yeah. Baltimore. When that Baltimore mob hit the streets, right. hit the wood, man. All them, all them jokes stopped till we got back to the farm. Right, yeah, you had to see that bump. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, uh, you later started Burry Farm. Let me get to that. But did, but did the Burry, did, I mean, you didn't start it. You ended up taking it over. But did you... Anything that you see on the um, Urban Coalition, was it anything that inspired you on there, or you just being in Bury Farms witnessing the Goodman League was your inspiration alone? Well, we had we had our own league, mm -hmm. which was with Brady uh, Brady and them ran from started in '77. Mm -hmm. It was the Bury Farm Community League. We had about a about an eight or ten ten eight or ten team league. Mm -hmm. It was just a neighborhood guys back then. Bury Farm had a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. And then the guys from Old Sher and Turs mm -hmm. had a good team, so we was that that was our thing right there. We we do that, and then on Sundays, Saturdays and Sundays, man, we used to go up that catch the bus. I ain't had no car. We catch that bus up of that Herbo man, and, and and watch the Herbo, and uh, after the Herbo mm -hmm. over, come back down play pickup, and uh, so with Brady and them started that. And we we enjoyed playing those them summer league games. So like I said, in '83, mm -hmm. I went in the military, so I didn't get to play down the farms no more till '89, okay. when I came home and luckily got stationed there over at Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. So I was at Fort Myers from '89 to '92. Mm -hmm. So I was I was I was able to play those three years. Mm -hmm. Then I ain't see the farms no more till '95 when I got out. Mm -hmm. So 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 your love for the game. Came from actually playing a game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. What, was game, like? what was your game like? What was your game like, Man, me, I, I was an Oakley type of dude, but my jumper was wet. My jumper was jumper was wet. Jumper was wet. They tell you, Bone. You oh yeah, heard oh yeah. You heard yeah. Heard I'm saying, man, hold on, you man. Yeah. I had a little J. Had a little J. Mid range or deep ball? Nah, nah, no, nah, mid range back then. Mid range, mid -range. locking my man down, locking yeah. shit. They heard, they, they, I knew what I heard that yeah. you don't leave no fouls yeah. in, the, in the book. Lock, I'm, I'm talking about no fouls. No fouls. You ain't do nothing. I did my fouling too, but yeah, yeah, motherfucker hate to see me guarding them. Right, man. I used to guard the best player when we played pickup. Right. On every team, if we if I took a team. To the base, right. the best player. I had to guard the best player. They already, they already knew they that. They already knew that because I took my, Tony Smith was my shooter. Uh -huh. Mo Jenkins was my point yeah, guard. Mo, Mo, my man. Yeah. Bubba I was a shooter. Right. And I take Big B with me. Okay. And then my job was, you know, hey, 
Yeah. Strapped the best man. I had like I said, I had a little Jade in, but I played my role. We, right. we used to go shut gyms down, man. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we used to go shut gyms down the Maryland gyms, Hillcrest Heights, yeah. and all them spots, man. We used to shut them joints down, man, with that with that same five. That same five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so okay. that 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 would have me uh uh taking over, man, from for for the farms and when I got out in 95, man, we ain't, we ain't had no summer league. I was looking forward because I got out in August. Right. I come down that joint, man, everybody sitting in the alley. Like, man, where the, where the summer league at? Right. So they say, man, ain't nobody, ain't nobody want to run it. It was too late to start then. So they was like, man, you run the joint, man. So the next year, man, I took that joint 96. 96, okay. And ran with it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 you made it. You made it a show over there, man. You made it a show when you started it. The first couple years you started, the first years you ran it, because you ain't really getting no outside assistance as far as no sponsorship or nothing. For what? what how many years before you got your first? Shit, ninety six. We was just. It was still just Burry Farms, mm -hmm. Burry Farms, Teens, Park Chester. Mm -hmm. So we wasn't really. Wasn't no outsiders coming across that, uh, across uh, that bridge. They used to line up, uh, suit the Parkway, get out the cars. And watch from the fence. Right. So they they was they wasn't coming they wasn't coming in them gates. So it was mm -hmm. so uh, ninety six that first year we 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 did that thing man and you know and years of, like every year I used to try to like figure out how I can mm -hmm. how I can make the thing better mm -hmm. and uh, some people were just satisfied with just running the league but mm -hmm. I wanted that joint for some reason to be elite but back then. Yeah, I wasn't getting no help from Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. the, the the dude that ran the rec at that particular time was some shit. Mm -hmm. So we had to get our own supplies and all of that. And uh, I think mm -hmm. Ty Madness was my first sponsor. Mm -hmm. Unofficial, official, mm -hmm. handshake with the with the big faces in the hand mm -hmm. sponsor. He was the first person to put a banner up. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks to uh, Go Go Swing, I want I don't want to leave him out. Oh yeah, Mo, yeah, Big yeah, Benji, Benji, my Benji, man yeah, Benji. Benji, Benji. Thank you, Benji. Benji, yeah, yeah I want to yeah, leave Benji yeah. out, man. Yeah. Benji brought Ty down there, right. and uh, me and Ty got to know each other, man. And Ty, yeah. Ty used to come down there and shake my hand, man, and give right. give me a good little piece of change, say, man, whatever you need. And uh, but the, my first, shit, we did that bone to about. Shit. First official sponsor, corporate sponsor was was uh, I want to say uh, Western Union. Lonnie bought Western Union. Mm -hmm. L Train Harrell bought Western Lonnie Union. Rail. Shout out to Lonnie Rail, big yeah, L. Yeah, yeah, Lonnie. A lot of people thought I did that, but I always gave credit where it was due. Lonnie bought Western Union down there. They put some new backboards up. Uh, with no money involved, but they, mm -hmm. they. But at that time, we needed new. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just trying to get the joint. Mm -hmm. You know, beautified and all, because that pole, you know, the pole used to shake mm -hmm. after the motherfucker dunked the, mm -hmm. the basket, used to shake for another 10 minutes. Right, right. So, uh, but man, the league got, you know, the farm's talent got dry. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I said, man, okay, I got to do something different. Mm -hmm. I had my own little team with my brother, Baldy, Bubba I, Danny Wright, and Man and and B A B A wore like two seventy back then. Right, right. So we we was the doormats of the league. So I said I said I got I got to change this. So mm -hmm. I decided to let the outside entities come in and join the league. Man, so you know Congress Park got a team. Uh, Hall had a team. Macuno, mm -hmm. all days had a team. Shooters got a team. So that talent man got the that brought the G Joneses mm -hmm. and the. And and uh, Victor Pages mm -hmm. and all that DC history of basketball man they they started coming down that joint man it was it was like <laughs> but we ain't think was we ain't had no lights right you right. know the lights was out down Burry <clears throat> Farms from shit probably the time I went to military bone man for over twenty years mm -hmm. no lights and we had a basketball league going on and the city did not fix the lights. Mm -hmm. Danbury Farm. We didn't get the lights fixed until, and we, so that's why the game started so early. The games had to start back then, like by 5.30, mm -hmm. 6 o'clock, or you get caught in the dock. Mm -hmm. Tony A. was. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, that's funny. I mean, I don't know, because I, I know before we went, before we, I went in, <clears throat> a, uh, 
We used to go down Burn Farm at nighttime at the go go and, and play. But I uh, remember Melvin and the guy about getting get, get a fight down there one time, about to get in the fight down there. They might have had one or two working. One or two lights. We and, working. and the lights used to come from the swimming pool. Yeah, from the alley, the court by the yeah, alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the, back in the day, the hustles, Ray and everything. Yeah, we used to come there, there, we come to go go. Play, yeah. play them games, yeah. betting down there mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I wasn't a part of that. I was in the military. Right, then, but, right. But I know about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was like one. Dull light, right, yeah, yeah, light yeah, coming from the zone. swimming pool. Yeah, but and, Tony uh, Awards lit you all the way up. Tony Awards, well, he had to tap into the uh, to the parks and rec lights, and them like that shit was so old. Tony said so, mm -hmm. still had to get finished early. But then along came a spider to fast forward. Mm -hmm. The only reason we ended up getting the courts better was when Gill came down. Mm -hmm. But before Gill came down. Uh, it was still the Burry Farm League, then I changed it to the Wayne Ealing League mm -hmm. when Eden, when, when e -ball got killed mm -hmm. just for a little bit. But, man, they was they was hooping back then because, mm -hmm. you know, all, all, all the hoopers was down there. Mm -hmm. David Hawkins, Kevin Lye, mm -hmm. the Thrill, Mike Gill, mm -hmm. all, all them dudes, man. I don't want to leave nobody out. Mm -hmm. They know from that era, from, I think, from 2000, man, to about 2010, mm -hmm. man, it was still – the city's hoopers down mm -hmm. that joint. Then I think, when did Gil get here? Mm -hmm. Young KD came down there mm -hmm. when he was in high school. Mm -hmm. And every year, man, like I said, I was just trying to make ends meet to meet people and mm -hmm. try to get build relationships right. to where I could make the, 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 the thing, the courts better because mm -hmm. the city wasn't doing shit. Right. You know, they wouldn't even come across the bridge. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that, was a, that was the thing back then, you know, so... A lot of that shit back then, Bone, was was out of pocket because I was I was working with the feds. I was getting the rock of overtime. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't they don't they don't know nothing about they don't know that right. you know they see banners and this that and the third and just think that uh you know that that is money flowing right. through that shit. Mm -hmm. But uh, right, yes, that's, that, that's where my admiration came mm -hmm. from, man. Right. When we was down there, man, as, as kids. So I didn't, I didn't want that to die down because it, it died that one year. Mm -hmm. I think since 97, since 77, mm -hmm. the league was non-existent for two years mm -hmm. since, since 77. That, that's a hell of a run. Right, that's, a hell of a, that's a hell of a run, man. Like you say, you just made, you had a flashback, you get to name all them players. Out the park, niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days. Yeah. Been a road, been a road.